Good morning. Welcome to Monday, July the 20th. Today's, today we're going to be the second part of the great hymn that we started just in yesterday's video. Today's title is Not I, But Christ. And we're going to be starting off with the great, one of the great um, verses in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. And it says, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live, in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Ooh, I love that verse. It's one of my favorite verses. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. That's the only part I know about. I didn't know the rest of it, but I love that part of the verse. <laughs> Nevertheless, I live. <laughs> Woo! It's got some good meaning to that one. So. Okay. So the second verse of the great hymn, When I Surveyed the Wondrous Cross, continues by rightly identifying the focus of a believer's affections. And this song do doesn't direct our affection to objects like the cross or the blood and so imply improper worship. But it clearly specifies the deity and the work of Christ as paramount to us. And we worship him for who he is and what he has done and is doing on our behalf. And his death makes all the difference to us. Here goes the second verse. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my God. All the vain things that charm me most, I sacrifice them to his blood. Hmm, I didn't see the I didn't see the title of the of the, the passage in there. Hmm. Oh well, maybe it's not all the time. Maybe not the title's not all the time in there. Hmm. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my God. And all the vain things that charm me most, I sacrifice them to his blood. Hmm. Didn't see not I, not I but Christ. Maybe maybe that part's in the verse. <laughs> Maybe that's just a little reiteration. So we know that being bound in fashion as a man, being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And that was Philippians chapter 2 verse 4. So what happened there? In the Romans 5.10 it says, For if when we were enemies... For if, when we were enemies, sorry, a notification, sorry. That was just a notification, sorry about that. Okay, for if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Once again, that was Romans 5, verse 10. Okay? <laughs> So today we no longer have an obligation to render animal sacrifices to God for our sins. But we do need to offer something better than even our best. Ooh, that's a good one. Scriptures ask us to, in Romans 12, 1, present our bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God. Ooh, I like that verse too. That's a good verse too. <laughs> That's a good verse. That's a good, good verse. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still getting accustomed to the the way this camera is. Um. So we don't literally sacrifice ourselves to His blood, but we cherish and recognize that the shedding of His blood on the cross makes it all possible and there again 
When you survey the wondrous cross, you see the blood that he shed on it. You remember all the, the blood that he shed on that cross. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still getting over the, the way the camera's set up. <laughs> See, the way I'm looking at the playback from it, all the movement is backwards to me. But when the video is, as you're seeing the video now, everything's straight. You, you, you see the words on my shirt, straight. And then when I hold up my right hand, you see my right hand? It'll be over here. When I, when I see the playback, this will be over here on this side of the screen. And if I hold a, a left, my left side up, I'm seeing it straight up on this side. But on the screen, it's on the left side when, I, when it's playback. So, <laughs> so that's, that's all for this video. Appreciate you watching. Hope you're enjoying the thing. And when I get to the, the fourth and final of this hymn, I will read all four verses together so you can get a little. So, Wednesday, you'll be hearing the whole thing. After I read the whole pass, the whole passage for the, de the day, then I'll turn around and put all four verses together so you understand what the whole thing is. So be looking forward to that. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful Monday. And let's give you a preview of what tomorrow's passage is going to be about for the third verse. The title is his, for Tuesday, July 21st. It's going to be His Head, His Hands, His Feet. And we're going to be reading John chapter 20, verses 27 and 28. So that part of the, that, that those words of the title is in that next verse so be looking forward to that I appreciate you I love you have a good rest of your Monday stay safe in all this thing remember stay safe I love you I'll see you next time and I'm out.